Millions of Americans who are living with diabetes are now also living with the challenge of finding the insulin they need to manage it. A delay in manufacturing has led to insulin shortages. Channel 7's Ashley Butler checked in with a local pharmacist to see how this shortage is impacting us. She's live in our newsroom now. Ashley. Chris, insulin is used to treat different types of diabetes with type 1 diabetic patients needing insulin to survive. America is seeing a national shortage of drugs, including insulin. Every day, we over the last 6, 12 months, we have had shortages of drugs in general. Um, insulin is one of the concerning ones that we see on a daily basis, and it has gotten worse over, I'd probably say, the last month or two. At the end of 2023, there were changes in the distribution, availability, and pricing of insulin, contributing to the current shortage. The last month, two months, we've noticed that our wholesalers have had a lot less of specific insulins, which has led to a shortage in allocation on the pharmacy's part, so we're only able to get in two or three bottles maybe a week, which is not nearly enough to then cover all the patients that we have that are needing their medication. Causing pharmacies to make do with what they have on hand. As a pharmacy and as an independent pharmacy, we're doing our very best to make sure everybody gets something and no one is going without. With shortages affecting some types of insulin more than others. What I've seen the most shortage of lately is the short acting insulins that go in patients um, pumps that they use, um, especially for those type one diabetes who are reliant on insulin to live, um, those are the ones that we've seen the most shortage of. It's not yet certain when these shortages will start improving both across the nation and here at home. Pace says anyone who is insulin dependent should make sure they're staying on top of their supply. On your side in the newsroom, I'm Ashley Butler. Okay, Ashley, thanks very much.